Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. I'm your host, FD for Sage5.tv, bringing you one of our weekly favorite segments in Week in Focus. And this week, we are focusing on Lenify, a decentralized lending and borrowing protocol on the Cardano blockchain. But before we jump into Lenify today, please, so that what I'm going to share with you today is not financial advice. You do require financial advice. You know what to do by now. Please approach someone who's trying to give you financial advice. The information contained in this video just for educational as well as entertainment purposes. And if you do require financial advice, by now guys you know what to do please approach someone who's trying to give you financial advice and for those from the uk this video is not intended for uk audiences for the sole reason that the authorities do deem anything crypto related to be extremely risky and they are trying to protect you just in case you end up losing your investments and your funds along the way that said let's come back to lenify what is lenify lenify is a decentralized lending and borrowing protocol built on the cardano blockchain offering both pooled and peer-to-peer -peer lending services the platform utilizes nft bonds and supports cardano native assets providing users with a secure and permissionless environment for financial interaction and one of the reasons why we are featuring lenify because it is doing quite really well and since we first invested in lenify personally in my private portfolio i think i started doing that around the 22 cent mark and in our 15k to 600k portfolio challenge i think our starting position was one dollar nine cents or somewhere thereabouts and we also added another small portion when it was in the lower 50s so as you can imagine my personal portfolio doing well and Lenify is literally grabbing all those poor performers up by the scruff of the neck and our public portfolio is doing just as good but I thought it was uh, a time to highlight some of these strong projects because in a bull market you want to double down on your winners and Lenify at the moment is suggesting so I mean you can nitpick and start saying yeah but there's not enough volume for big players the volume will come just wait until some of these things especially plenty of the Cardano native assets that are decent projects that are not yet listed on centralized exchanges when that happens, what do you think will happen? I personally think the sky is the limit. Again, not financial advice. Anyway, let's start off with uh, looking at some of the key features and use cases for Linify. Users can create and manage liquidity pools, benefiting from fixed interest rates and delegation rewards in pools paired with ADA. So in other ways, it means users can create lending pools. Linify also enables direct lending and borrowing between users, leveraging NFT bonds to represent loan agreements. So here we are talking of peer-to-peer uh, -peer lending. The platform supports various Cardano native tokens or CNTs allowing for diverse lending and borrowing options. In other words, Lenify supports multi-assets. Lenify token holders participate in protocol governance, influencing decisions such as asset whitelisting and fee structures. I think there could be more done for those who participate in the lending. They should actually be doing a lot more than what's happening at the moment. For example, be bold when it comes to sharing platform fees. I think that would be one key area Lenify needs to look at. But then if you consider that um, Lenify so far, it's not the only one. It's not the only lending and borrowing protocol on Cardano, but it is one of the best ones so far that is actually doing something. It's got a product and price at some point was going to catch up and we are starting to see that now. I mean, if you consider that this is low volume, just wait until volume starts increasing and the masses realize first and foremost that Cardano is probably a decent blockchain. If you disregard some of the maxes from other networks, then the price will catch up at some point. Okay, moving on to the tokenomics for Lenify. Total supply of the Lenify token is 29.5 million tokens. So that is also a very competitive token supply. Allocation, you've got strategic partners, you've got the core team, you've got staking and governance and public distribution. I'll leave some links to this section on the Lenify website itself where you can look at some of the tokenomics documentation. Looking at the competitors for Lenify, Lenify operates in the decentralized finance or DeFi sector, competing with platforms like Aave and Compound, which are established lending protocols on Ethereum. These platforms have significant market capitalization with Aave's market cap around the 1 billion mark as of November 2024. Potential market capitalization for Lenify then if you are going to consider the likes of Aave and Comba. If Lenify were to grow to a similar size as Aave, achieving a market cap of approximately 1 billion, the price for Lenify token will be approximately $33.90, approximately based on where we are today, the market capitalization of Aave, approximately 1 billion. And if you divide that by 29,500,000 Lenify token, get $33.90. But I don't think Lenify will stop there from my point of view. I don't know what you guys think. I think this is my own opinion, of course. It might never happen. I think Lenify, I'll be surprised. If we get a crazy bull run, I'll be surprised if Lenify, alongside the Cardano ecosystem itself, you know, shooting for the stars, I will not be surprised if likes of Lenify don't approach three figures. Again, three figures could be $101. You never know. I think that's quite possible. But then $101, where will it put Lenify? It will put Lenify at about $3 billion approximately. So I don't think that's a huge ask if you consider what normally happens during crazy bull market. 
but can Lenify get to 3 billion market capitalization? You never know. Let's wait and see. Let's wait and find out. And that will be the fully diluted market cap, by the way. The actual market cap will be a lot lower than that. But if the fully diluted market cap is about 3 billion, the Lenify market cap itself will not be far off that figure. It depends where the token distribution is and the investing schedule. So price movements to date for Lenify, as of November 2024, Lenify is trading at approximately $2.11 now, which is crazy, right? It's been over $5 before. I think it was earlier on in the bull cycle. It went to over $5, but right now it's about $2.11. And the trading volume is not that much. I think aggregated trading volume across all the DEXs, because it's still on DEXs, it's not on centralized exchanges at all. It's fluctuating at the moment around the 200,000 mark. So that's a decent increase you know, for the Lenify token. At the moment, you're talking of mm, almost 200% increase from where it was seven to 14 days ago. So it is doing quite well, Lenify. What about the investment prospects? Say I'm a new investor or I want to invest in Lenify today. Well, Lenify presents a compelling value proposition with its unique features on the Cardano blockchain. And there are also some rumors and potentially great news for the Cardano ecosystem itself. And that will provide another kick to Lenify if that happens. The recent price surges indicate a growing interest in Lenify. However, potential investors should consider the following. The market position for Lenify is Lenify is a newer entrant compared to established competitors like Aave and Compound. So it might never get to that level. So you've got to take some of these assumptions with a pinch of salt. Lenify's success depends on user adoption and the expansion of the Cardano DeFi ecosystem. Like I'm saying, if some of the news that are or the rumor in the background is anything to go by, then Cardano could reach for the skies, which means there will be more liquidity pouring into Cardano. And if we finally get that major stablecoin in Cardano, you never know, DeFi might explode in Cardano. So that is always an option. As with any investment, though, there are inherent risks, including market volatility and competition. And Lenify might not succeed. There might be other newer borrowing and lending platforms on Cardano that will outperform Lenify. That's to be expected. But so far, I think Lenify is doing quite well. What I would want to know, though, from you guys is what do you think about Lenify? Yes, it's showing plenty of promise. But as an investor, you should always conduct your own research and consider the risks before investing. Your own research, that's very important. But I would want to know what you think the price of Lenify will be at the top of the current bull run. At some point, of course, we all want to sell our bags. I will be divulging my selling price targets at some point as the bull run progresses so that I can share with you guys. Your thoughts in the comment section. Until the next one, this is FD for Sage5.tv signing out for now. Bye.